Okay, everything up and running. Webcam, mic, Code Academy, Kitty. We are set. We are diving in to JavaScript, continuing on with the second section, or part two of the first section, technically. Uh, also, projects eight quizzes, eight projects, six quizzes. I noticed yesterday it shows you what the pro content adds. There's no projects there. No. There's quizzes, nine quizzes, but for HTML, CSS, part one, no additional projects. <laughs> right. However, in JavaScript, I've noticed they've got one quiz, but then they've got two different projects, even just for part one. I'm trying to decide on whether I should get a pro account. Part of me really wants to, because I think those projects will be useful. But I'm still, still coming to terms with the, uh, the basics, so we'll see. We'll cross that bridge later when we get there. Uh, anywho, onwards to section two, or part two of section one, uh, variables for JavaScript. Let's do this. Ah, and again, today, day 15 out of the year of streaming and learning to code, that means there's 350 days left of this, right? Yeah get some okay only six sections in this not bad learn to write programs in javascript we'll need to make our code reusable part of making code reusable is removing the data we want to perform some whoa 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 part of making code reusable is removing the data we want comma to perform some logic on to leave only the logic god is it me it could be me i haven't eaten in a while but i think it's just the sentence part of making code reusable is removing the data we want to perform some logic on to leave only the logic okay so we're just trying to keep the logic bit then we can use our logic on any data. Here's what we mean. Imagine you're writing a weather app. Your thermometer outside reports the temperature in Celsius, and your goal is to report the temperature in Fahrenheit. You'll write a program so that the temperature, like 15 degrees Celsius, so that the program takes a temperature, like 15 degrees Celsius, then multiplies and divides it until you get the temperature in Fahrenheit. Once you've done this, though, you see the temperature now reads 16 degrees Celsius. In order to find Fahrenheit again, you'd need to write a whole new program to convert 16 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. This would happen because the Celsius to Fahrenheit logic is operating directly on the Celsius data. Luckily, JavaScript offers variables. Variables allow us to assign data to a word. Then we can use that word within our program instead of the data. Then, if variables, if the variable's value changes, we only have to change the variable's value instead of rewriting the entire program. Fair enough, makes sense. Click next to see how variables work. Two of six, we're on a roll. Let's dive in and see a variable in the wild. Here's how you declare a variable. Variable my name aria console log my name output aria. You can almost read it aloud. Variable my name is equal to aria. Let's dissect the statement and look at its parts. One var short for variable is the JavaScript keyword that will create a new variable for us. My name is chosen by a developer. That's you. 
Notice that the word has no spaces, and each new word is capitalized. This is a common convention in JavaScript, and is called camel case. Hmm. I'm all for having the new word capitalized, but it bothers me to no end that the my in my name is not capitalized, but the name is. I guess that's why it's got the interesting name of camel case, because only the middle capital name is, uh, or the middle capital letter is capitalized. Anywho, onwards. Three equals means to assign whatever's next to the variable. Four. Aria, in quotes, is the value that the equals assigns into the variable my name. After the variable is declared, we can print the variable with console.log my name. This will print aria to the console. One, variables must be strong to hold all of our variables must be strong to hold all of our stuff. Exactly how strong are they? Create a variable named strength and assign the string 50,000 pounds to it. Let's take the first two, copy, boom. Variable named strength. Strength. and assign the string 50,000 pounds. Run. Green checkbox. No, not green checkbox. Oh, my name. Ha ha ha, just kidding. No food for Steven. Bad mistake. Run. There we go. Look at that. Luscious green checkbox. Love it. Oh, in step two. Now under strength variable type console log, how much stuff can a variable hold? Now we know what a variable can hold just about anything. I don't know why. Oh, console log was part two, but strength was good enough. Okay. We'll clear this part out. Run. How much stuff can a variable hold? 50,000 pounds. Good times. Next. Okay, 3 6. If variables can hold strings, can they hold other data types as well? Let's give it a shot. Variable my age equals 15. Var likes chocolate equals true. Console log my age output 15. Console log Bless you. Crisis averted. Not a sneeze crisis. Separate cat feeding frenzy crisis. Okay, that's been dealt with. Um, 
Yeah, what now? Console log, likes chocolate, output true. Variables can hold any data type, like strings, numbers, and booleans. They can also hold data types we have not learned yet, like arrays, functions, and objects. More on that later. Under the strength variable, create a new variable named age and set it equal to your age as a number. Under the strength variable, create a new variable named age. Set it equal to your age as a number. Okay, so. My age. I know I could have copied it from the other side, but let's not have them just do all the work for us via copy and paste, shall we? My age. My CX. Does that at least look okay? Maybe. Death. I think it's the quotes. And yeah, yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there. <laughs> Variable, my age equals 26. Do I need to have the console log? Under your age, also want to print. Let's go. It's all right. Under the strength variable, create a new variable named age and set it equal. We'll do hint. You can create another variable using the var keyword. We did that. Oh, bastard. We'll try copying this, guys, but it's not looking promising. 26. Having trouble. Keep trying. We're gonna do console log. Yeah, that's not gonna fly. Okay, so we're just gonna keep hitting run until we get the get code thing. Because I cannot figure out get code bar. Oh, they have all the variables together, and then they keep all the console logs together. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna get Ryu. And I don't know what this pet nonsense is. We're gonna drop age. And let's see if I run. Is that good? Okay, now create another variable named has pet. Set it equal to a boolean and then print a console log. Okay. Bar.
has pen. Equals. True. Console.log. DDD, DDD has pet. Run. Way to go. Variables are able to hold any kind of data type. Click next. Okay, four out of six. Ooh, this one looks interesting. Why do we care about variables? Variables are used in two useful ways. One, they allow us to use the same value over and over without having to write a string or other data type over and over. More importantly, we can assign variables different values that can be read and changed by the program without altering our code. For example, a weather app can show you a different high temperature every day. Instead of writing a new website every day, they store the information in a variable and just change the value of that variable. We can change a variable's value if we want like this. Var, weather condition, Monday, raining cats and dogs. Weather condition equals Tuesday, sunny. Console log, weather condition. Output, Tuesday, sunny. One, we created a variable using the keyword var and the name weather condition. Two, then we took the existing weather condition variable and set its value equal to Tuesday. True to their name, variables are indeed variable. One, create a variable on line one named morning alarm and set it to 6.30 a.m. Variable morning alarm mm, six in quotes uh, six thirty a.m. Okay. Oh, equals. Haha. Uh -huh. Just kidding. Just kidding. Still. Still focused on, uh, what was it, HTML and CSS with all the, the colony goodness. But we're on to the equal sign now. All about that equal sign. Okay. Run. Nice. Okay, on line two, set morning alarm equal to another time that's better for you. That's not 6.30 a.m. Variable morning alarm copy. You can do it twice. Uh, how about like eleven twenty-two a.m.? Is that is that good? Nice. Hey, Whiskers, what you doing? Yeah, you running from the vacuum? Yeah, you're running from the vacuum. Look at that. Look at her. No, no, please get your booty out of the camera. <laughs> no one wants to look inside you. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Who's getting the scratches? Who are in the scratches? You are in the scratch. You totally moved the mic. Okay. We're really close to finishing. We're on four of six. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that nice? Okay. You? No. Let's move the mic back. Hey, little kitty. Thank you. Go play with her. Go on, go attack the Sims. 
Nom 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 nom. Dear Lord. Okay. He's, he's on a rampage. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <gasps> okay. There it goes. Apple Watch down. Oh. All right. Hopefully she can find another village to destroy, right? <laughs> okay. Let's do Down Whiskers. Uh I'm totally lost now. I don't know where we left off. Ah, right. Alarms. 11.22 a.m. On line 3, use console log. Morning alarm is set to... Comma, morning alarm. To print out your alarm to the console, notice that you successfully changed the various value because of your code on line 2. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We're just going to console this and just believe them. So, living dangerously. We're going to hit run. Why does that not like that? Oh, because it's missing the semicolon. But it still ran it anyways. Shouldn't reward improper syntax. They gave that green check mark before we had the semicolon. We all saw it. I would have cut off my hands. All right, next. We're on five of six. All right, in the previous lesson, we put strings into variables. Now let's put variables. Now let's put a variable's value into a string. Putting a variable in a string uses concepts we've already learned. The JavaScript term for this idea is interpolation. Interpolation? Interpol what? Possibly the most fun JavaScript term to say. I don't know, I kind of like camel case. How about you, little cat? No? It's, she's, she's all the way at the other corner of the bed. Can you guys see her? Oh no, she's just out of range. You know what? She's totally, she moved the camera. I don't even know if I had the camera in the right spot. We are all out of whack. There we go. I don't even know if the camera was in the right direction the whole time. What? Okay, so we readjusted everything. We're on section five. One, create a no interpol fun. We can use the plus operator from earlier to interpolate, insert a variable into a string like this. Uh, var my pet. Armadillo, console, I own a pet, plus my pet, plus period. I own a pet armadillo, period. Lovely. Create a variable named favorite animal and set it equal to your favorite animal. Oh. Hold on. Yeah. Now we know it barges in with vacuums and such and takes us all out via vacuum death. Okay. Uh, creating a variable for our favorite animals. So, variable. Favorite, not animal, animal. Hmm. What's a fun animal? I am, I, I am pro snow leopard. I am, I do enjoy a good. A good stealthy killing machine in cat form. So, no leopard. Do I need to capitalize it? They didn't say capitalize. Armadillo isn't capitalized. Snow leopard. Leopard? Leopard, right? 
think it's Leopard. We're gonna check. I shouldn't need to check this, but my mind is just like everywhere right now, so. Leopard. Yep, correct. Way cool. Do 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 do. Anything else? That evil to your favorite animal. Run. Then use console log to print my favorite animal koala, but replace koala with your favorite animal. Okay, so console log. Favorite animal. Mm. Wait a tick. Console log. My favorite animal, that's what it is. My favorite. Favorite animal. Dee 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 dee. Run. Oh, we forgot the semicolon. I own a pet plus my pet. Is it the plus? There we go. Why does it like that? Console log. Console log. I own a pet. Quotes. There we go. Let's give that a shot. Got it. Killed it. Getting all kinds of snowy up on us. Okay, that's ridiculous. Uh, six. Six of six. You've made it to the end of the first unit and this lesson. High five. Oh, chat's off. Hey. How's it going? Are you brand new? I am super new to programming. Like, freakishly new. As of, uh, well, in the title, this is day 15 of programming. I've dabbled a bit uh, prior with some HTML stuff. Um, but, yeah, super, super new. So, it's, uh, it's fun, though. I like it. What happened? Ah, uh, yes, you made it to the end of the first unit and this lesson. High five. We've learned how to create variables, how to change a variable's value, how to interpolate or insert a variable into a string. In the next lesson, we'll learn how to program JavaScript to make decisions for us and how to generate random numbers. Let's go. Click next. Are you learning it for reason or just because? Um, ideally, I guess a career would be the general goal. Um, right now, I don't know, it, it's kind of tied to a lot of stuff. Twitch is sort of a side project. Um, it's just another component into building a company with all the different facets of social media like Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. It's so easy to create your own personal company. And a company is such like a nebulous idea now with social media. It can be anything. 
Um, so with things like tips through Twitch and other stuff, uh, just finding different things to do on Twitch. So I've got one of the Elgato HD 60S capture cards. However, I've got a really old Mac Mini and it can't, it doesn't have the power to support, um, that capture card. Uh, Apple's not really like friendly uh as as far as compared to the pc realm um so i've been trying to find other things i can do other than gaming i do have an xbox one so i can stream to twitch directly through there but i found code academy i've just been trying to find other things that i can do on my to-do list in life uh that i can stream because you can stream basically anything uh, I mean, especially with the addition of the IRL section, the in real life, I mean, I stream me eating lunch and watching Pokemon. So this is just a good way. And uh, I'm trying to do this year long challenge, ideally to see how far I can get. I know Code Academy won't take me a year, uh, but hopefully over the next coming months, um, I don't know, I might find like an internship or something like that after I get a little more in-depth to coding. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of why. Do you want to make programming a career? Ah, uh, yeah, no, no, no. Oh, no, not popular on Twitch. I've got, actually, initially I was like, oh, get a sub button. That's great for the five, you know, uh, the $5 a month um, through every sub. But then I realized after going to TwitchCon that there's like, it's an actual contract and then that kind of it affects where you can post your content like they can any subscribe or any partnered um streamers can only stream on twitch i suppose there might be a unique a unique few that have um what is it unique contracts where they can stream both to youtube and twitch i still need to set up where i can stream to both but uh, right now, I'm not really looking for that. That's what Patreon's for, and I'd rather people subscribe to that or support through that, and then they can do even $2 a month because, you know, that's basically what you're getting from the $5 anyways. If someone's spending 5 bucks to subscribe through Twitch and 250 is going to them and 250 is going to me and after tax, I'd rather just get the 2 bucks directly from Patreon. Uh, are you planning on going to school for coding? I've already done the school route. Um, not not for coding, but I, I do have my AA degree. Um, I'm considering, I'm, I'm at a good, since I have my AA degree, I am kind of interested in getting a four-year degree, but all the stuff that I'm interested in going to college for isn't stuff I'm interested in doing a career in, if that makes sense. It's just college is, is kind of the way it's still set up is like an archaic structure, um, and it's kind of for old world industries, especially for the programming and really just the whole tech world. Uh, they, they'd rather see physical projects that you've actually worked on, like real life examples and work. So experience is kind of key there. I know a lot of jobs use degrees as sorting filters, but that's also for people where that's all they have to show is schooling and I guess any work experience that they may have found on their own. And then the degrees is kind of the delineating factor versus if you can kind of bootstrap it yourself and and go from there and, and bring something to the table on your own. I've already got uh, five, six years of experience. I've worked for the government. I've worked in the private sector and creating my own business was the next thing on my to-do list. Uh, and that was work experience I hadn't have or that I hadn't had before. So it's been an interesting like six months or so. Uh, good for you trying to learn on your own, man. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's fun. Um, and it's also just a good reason to keep posting stuff to Twitch and yeah, hacking away at coding. So I enjoy it. Don't mind me. Up next, control flow. Learn how to make decisions with JavaScript. Dark lesson. 
All right. And I, I do think this stream is coming to an end. I just want to see what the next section is for. Now that we've got parts of JavaScript, let's see what they can do. In this unit, we'll explore how we can take those parts and create decision trees, games, and much more. That's fun. We're going to save that for tomorrow. Let's see where we stand so far. 25% of the way through JavaScript. And we'll check our profile, 159 points overall. 25 badges. Yeah, I wish I wish the day streak was two calendar days, 47 hours and 59 minutes, because I've been here every day this year, starting on the 1st. Today's the 15th, and we're 15 days. Same thing, just like it shows when it joined. Joined on January 1st, but I'm on, uh, I think their servers are on the East Coast, or even further further east utc possibly utc time versus i'm a uh, pacific time california so kind of throws off the stats a little but for the rest of the year i'll be here but should be good anywho one five badges down yeah man I think that's it for today. All right, I might stream later, um, possibly Skyrim, but we'll see. I'm stopping now for food, and then I will be continuing coding again tomorrow. Not too sure what time, but uh, definitely sometime tomorrow. All right, well, I'm out for now. Ain't that right? Oh. Did, yeah, little kitty sleeping. Okay. She's not saying bye today. Good, good. Killing the stream.